Hello, I am Dr. Vaishakhi Rustigi. I am a consultant pediatric endocrinologist practicing in Delhi. Today I am going to discuss hypothyroidism in children. Thyroid gland is a butterfly shaped gland which is placed in the anterior part of the neck. This gland produces an essential hormone called as thyroxine which is required for the development of the brain in the first three years of life. Later on, it is an important hormone required for metabolic functions and growth in children. Thyroid problems are commonly seen in children. Females are however more affected than males. Hypothyroidism is a term used when the thyroid gland produces less thyroid hormone than required and it is called as hyperthyroidism when the thyroid gland is over functioning and producing more thyroid hormone in the body. Children with hypothyroidism could just present with symptoms like short stature, excessive lethargy, fatigue, constipation, dry skin, poor scholastic performance, lack of interest in outdoor activities and in big girls you can have menstrual irregularities. If your child has any of the above symptoms, then the pediatric endocrinologist will ask for some blood work and some radiological investigations to diagnose the cause of hypothyroidism. If hypothyroidism is diagnosed, the child can be put on treatment. Treatment is in the form of a tablet which is given daily empty stomach in the morning. Regular follow-up with your pediatric endocrinologist is important to find out whether the right dose is being given to the child. As the dose changes with age and weight, the dose needs to be frequently titrated. Not giving the right amount of thyroid hormone will cause poor improvement in symptoms in this child. There is no need of any restriction of certain food items like cauliflower, cabbage in cases of hypothyroidism nowadays. That was in cases where there was iodine deficiency hypothyroidism. Now that our country has iodized salt, iodine deficiency hypothyroidism is extremely rare. Children with hypothyroidism have normal growth and intelligence. If they are treated on time, they can achieve their highest genetic potential in terms of growth. And for this, a regular follow-up with a pediatric endocrinologist is extremely essential. The pediatric endocrinologist will regularly get a few tests done to assess whether the treatment is adequate and if there are any changes required in the treatment. So to summarize, Early diagnosis and treatment of hypothyroidism in children can prevent them from having long-term sequelae.